yes we are looking at computer software and software is a set these are instructions that tell a computer what to do uh, software comprises the entire set of programs procedures and routines associated with the operation of the computer system so a set of a set of instructions that direct a computer's hardware to perform a task is called a program or a software program. So when the program is in use, the computer reads it from the storage device and temporarily replaces the instructions in random access memory. We have computer data processing. When a computer processes data, it follows a particular sequence of instructions. The sequence of instruction is stored in memory with specific details of what it is to be done, the, inter the, alternate, the alternate path that can be taken if decisions are to be made, locations where the input are to be collected from, and locations where the outputs are to be written to. So a program is a sequence of instructions, like I've said, and the preparation of such instruction is done by a human being who is called a programmer. Therefore, these, programmer, these computer programs are the ones that are known as software or computer software. So, computer software is therefore the set of logical instructions that run the hardware. And the computer is subdivided into three main groups. We have the system software, application software, and programming languages. Under system software, we have operating system, utility programs, and under application, we have off-the-shelf and custom-made. Then under programming languages, we have low-level language and high-level language. So system software, of course, provides facilities that enhance the computer's general operation. And they are written by computer manufacturers or professional system programmers. And they reside inside the read-only memory and they are known as the firmware. So system software can be grouped into two groups, the utility programs and operating system. Utility programs are frequently used to carry out routine jobs. And they can be called as service programs that are used to enhance the performance of the operating system. So we have the specific utilities and their functions. We have the backup utility, which is used to duplicate copies of every file. Then we have a data recovery utility, which is used to undelete a file or information that has been accidentally deleted. We have defragmentation utility which is used to find all scattered portions of files on the hard disk. Then we have disk repair utility, which checks your disk drive to detect and make repair on the spot. And then we have virus protection utility or an antivirus software. Here it is, of course, a, it is a utility program that scans storage media like hard disks, diskettes, memory, to detect and destroy the virus. Then we have the data process processing utility. It is where uh, it is used to remove redundant elements, gaps, and unnecessary data from computer storage space. And then we have memory management utility. There are programs that are de that determine how to efficiently control and allocate memory. So that is about utility programs then we have application software and these are programs that direct the performance of a particular use or application of computers to meet the information processing needs of the user and they include off the shelf and the custom uh, applications we have forms of application software we have packaged software for example microsoft office microsoft office is under packaged software we have custom made this is tailor made it is here you make an arrangement maybe you want a school system and so you define what you want it to do is it a report management system is it a financial management system or accounting system then you make an arrangement with the programmer that falls under custom made software we have freeware 
This is copyrighted software provided at no cost. It is a free software. Then we have shareware. This is copyrighted software that is provided or distributed free to trial period. You can get the shareware, you get it for a period of like three months. They give it to you to try on it. Then after that, you pay for it. Then you have public domain software. It is a free software donated for public use and has no copyright restriction. It is a public use software. Then we come to off the shelf software. These are programs intended for financial gain, of course, like commercial, commercial off the shelf software and targets towards the worldwide customers like spreadsheets, paint image editing, multimedia software, presentation software, audio. There are so many that fall under this category. Then we have custom or best bespoke software this type of software you can define your business needs like i've said maybe it is a school that needs a report management system you talk to the programmer and then he hands it over to you so my question is mention more examples of custom package software and then explore the advantages and disadvantages of custom software which one would you use would you use the custom or the off-the-shelf software we come to programming languages programming languages communicate with the processor the communication is accomplished by defining a list of words and symbols according to a particular syntax predetermined rule of grammar so they have the predetermined rule of grammar into logical manner to form a computer program programming languages have one distinctive feature among them they all tend to form a logic flow they have to have a logic flow of information basically there are two we have low level language and high level language low level language is is called low level because they are closely associated with the processor than high level language which is nearer to the programmer so these two types are like i've said when you come to the high level language they were introduced as a further refined in the assembly language. They make programming much easier to use and shield programmers. For example, if you're using CMD, the command line, uh, some are now adjustable. You can use the graphical user interface even when... So this gives the programmer a high, uh, like, an advantage to come nearer to the computer. High-level programming languages include Pascal, COBOL, BASIC, FORTRAN, C, C++, ADA, among others. Then we have language processors. Language processors are mainly used with high-level programming languages to work backwards to the processor. Their main work is to translate high-level language codes into low-level language codes that the processor can understand. So we, they include, we have a compilers, assemblers, interpreters, and linkers. So I want you to explore more on each of the language processors and tell us what they exactly do. Characteristics of application software. Like we said the other side, they, they, they are targeted to a wide range of users. Uh, the software should be machine independent and they should be designed for power and flexibility. You are blessed.